how to switch tires on an RC car. Um, normally I don't make silly videos like this, but you know, it's kind of worth it just to show it off. Uh, maybe help RC noobs how to um, change a tire, you know. You know, what happens when you're, you need a tire change, you know, when your tires are dull, you need new ones, you know, switch it in to with new tires and stuff and new progression tires and stuff like that, or just basic customizations, you know, make your car look good. I can here to help you guys out with that. So, I'll be using my Traxxas Fortec 2.0 for this one. And by the way, if you haven't seen my final review using Doug Demiro's Dub Score, I will have the video link in the end screen on the end of this video. So, the tools that you, um, the actual, the things that you just really need is pretty simple and straightforward. Um, normally, in almost every kit, when you buy an R a new RC, you would get this little wrench here. Um, this cross wrench um, depending how big it is uh, of your RC uh, nut which holds down the, the wheels usually a single nut uh, you would probably most likely going to be using this piece this side right here almost the long side of the of the cross wrench um, when I wasn't a newbie with the RC world uh, I was using one of these because I got a, I got my slash used. So this is mainly for a nitro car, but this will work too. But in this demonstration, I'll just be using this one. So the first thing that you need to do is to take off the uh, the rims that you want to take out. Then I highly recommend you actually take off out all four rims. So this is the little nut that, that holds the rim tight. Um, this one has the little flange on it, so it will actually hold the rim tight as much as possible. It's kind of hard to focus, but it's there. By the way, these are RC uh, drift tires. Um, these sets of tires right here are RC drift tires from HPI. And they fit perfectly on the Fortec. Especially it looks good with the Ford GT body, but I, I personally don't really like the looks of the rims are too Japanese. I'm not saying I don't like like it because it's Japanese style rims, but it's only it's okay in certain cars, but not on a Ford GT. It kind of looks off the portion. Now I'm gonna put. I'm. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just gonna put the stock tires back in. But um, regardless of what tire, if it's new or not, it's gonna work the same way. Now, for those of you who would actually notice, for those of you who actually bought a Fortec 2.0, um, you would notice that these are the rear rims and these are the front rims. Now they look kind of the same, right? Well, actually, if you look at them at an angle, this right here, the rears are a deeper dish. This one is not. And also, if you don't believe me, either, you can also do a little bit of a um, width comparison. The one for the rears are slightly wider than the fronts. See? They look like they are the same, but they're not. I can also tell by the tread. The tread pattern. Now, for those of you who have for those for those you guys who have the tires with a directional with directional tread pattern you can see that this tread pattern is going this way so the rotation of the of of these tread of these treads should be facing the direction where the car is facing so in this case this is pointing this way so this is going to be on the right side of the car the rear right side of the car specifically for those of you with the wider rims in the back and shorter rims on the front now what all you need to do is the, on the back side you have this little hex hex shaped thing which holds down to that piece right there all you need to do insert it there 
um, start finger tightening the the um, the nut and then once it starts to get a little stiff then go bring out your your cross wrench and tighten away but don't over tighten it though just just enough until it gets snug you want just a little bit of a play but you do not want too much play work to the point where it's wobbling um, this right here where you, see, you can see the wheel that's wobbling a little bit that's just play from the from these pieces and stuff like that it's not from the wheel itself There you guys have it. That's how you change tires on an RC car.